That's okay, Simba. Your mother has issues. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.31 a.m. Boo slept on the bed most of the night. Now he's looking out the window from the cat tower. I think there's geese out there. Boo ate all of his dinner from last night. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? The downstairs cats ate all of their food also, and looks like they're playing with one of their little donut toys because it's under the platter. Good morning, Splash. Just give him some fresh water. All of the cats are getting their nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites for breakfast. Boo got the same thing. They also get some additional water. There you go, Stella. Eat your breakfast. Good morning, Simba. Go eat your food. It is back to being cold out. It is 41 degrees outside. That's the upper right um, temperature under the red bar. And the bottom left under the green bar, the 46, is the temperature right outside of Hydroxy's shelter. The temperature inside Hydroxy's shelter says it is 51.2. The local weather app says it is 35 degrees out. The side of the garage says it's about 30 degrees. So I would say it's somewhere between 35 and 40. I just heard someone smacking the gates. I just heard someone smacking the gates. I'm assuming it was Splash. It might have been Boo. I just heard Boo jump down from like the window or his cat tower. Looks like Splash is happy to see him. The noise in the background is the water kettle heating up. Hello, oh, Splash, you happy to see Boo? Are you happy to see Boo? Yeah, Splash looks like a very happy cat right now. Good boy, Splash. Splash, you're such a good boy. You want me to move the grass over so you could lay on it in front of the gate? No, you're okay where you are? Okay. It's about 9.15 a.m. right now. Simba and Splash are looking out the windows. Stella's been hanging out here in the kitchen. I don't really know why I gave them food they haven't eaten their breakfast. What's going on, Stella? You want some wheatgrass? You heard Simba? Simba just jumped off the cat tower. This is what the wheatgrass looks like today. I want to say it's like five days of growth. Maybe six, maybe not even. I don't exactly remember when I planted it. Um, but it looks tall enough to give to the cat, so I'm going to give it to Stella and see if she wants some. They haven't had wheatgrass in a while. Like fresh wheatgrass. They've had the kind of old wheatgrass in the bed, but they haven't had any fresh wheatgrass to eat.
somebody's already stepping in it. I hope they don't lay in this. And with this tray, I am going to try to keep it trimmed versus the other one I never trimmed it at all. I just wanted to see what would happen to it. Stella is looking for the perfect blade of grass to eat. Here comes Splash. Splash is smelling the wheatgrass. Come on, Splash, you could have some. Okay, I am going to leave them here with this tray of wheatgrass and um, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, it looks like they ate all the wheatgrass they wanted and then they left it. Oh, but now Simba's back for more. It's okay Simba, you could have some later or tomorrow. But you know what, that is fresh grass. It probably tastes delicious to them. And look at that. Someone took out one blade of wheatgrass. I just took it away and put it back up here on the shelf near the window so we could get more light. Stella, you're not gonna eat your breakfast? Nobody even touched the breakfast downstairs. How come? You don't like it? You're tired of it? You want something new? There's not many options, Stella. You guys don't like canned food. You guys get the best food. You get the best cat food money can buy. Hello, Simba. How are you? How are you, Simba? You want your mommy to kiss you? Stella. Stella, go kiss Simba. Stella, go kiss Simba. Stella, go kiss Simba. Stella, go kiss him. Kiss him. He's your boy. Hello, Simba. Looking at Stella. You say, Mommy, give me a kiss. Stella. There she goes. It's okay, Simba. Your mother has issues. It's not you, it's her. It is about 11.20 p.m. I just gave Hydrox some food, gave him half a can of food and some fresh water. There is no dry food in the bowl. Uh, because Hydrox eats it all and the feeder dispenses another meal in the afternoon around 5 p.m. and Hydrox usually eats all of that also and whatever Hydrox doesn't eat the birds usually eat so when the 
raccoons, skunks, and possums come around at night, there's really nothing for them to eat in the feeder, but they do check it. And sometimes like the raccoons might try to stick their paws inside of the feeder, but they can't just because of the way the feeder's set up. So um, the critters try, but they don't have any luck. Hello, Simba. Simba's hanging out on the bed. He wants to chew on the camera strap. He's purring. His eyes look really green right now. They all have the same color golden eyes. But sometimes, in certain light, their eyes look green. It's about 8.30 p.m. and Boo ate all of his breakfast. Just about to give him dinner. Today we're having Boo's favorite dinner, canned cat food. You want some dinner, Boo? Yeah? Wanna eat? He never does this for the raw food. Only the canned food. This is the Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Formula. I put some water in it. He should really enjoy that. The cats ate all of their breakfast also. Right, Stella? Hello, Stella, how are you? The downstairs cats are getting the same exact food that Boo's getting. They're getting a can and a half, so that's half of a can each. Eat your food, guys. A lot of times they don't like eating canned food. They might pick at it and leave most of it. But sometimes they eat it. It just depends on how hungry they are. It's 11 p.m. And Splash has been visiting me in the kitchen. I've been portioning out the raw food for the next five or six days. And he's just been sitting here watching me. I've been giving him some treats. Not crunchies, I've been giving him some treats. And he's been eating those, but what happens is Simba comes running and steals them, right Simba? So right now, I'm going to give all of the cats their nighttime crunchies because they did not have any. The cats are all getting some pets right now. Even Splashy now, he gets his pets. I think that since Boo has been inside, Splash has made just as much progress as Boo has, if not even more progress than Boo. So it really just hasn't been all about Boo. It's really been about Boo and Splash and Stella and Simba. They've all come such a long way. Right, Splashy? You've come a long way. Sometimes I like to mess up Splash's fur a little bit. Because I feel like it loosens him up a little bit. It relaxes him. He's not so uptight. Right, Splash?
You like it when I scratch your back? Splash loves it. Who's upstairs crying because he wants crunchies? Or maybe because he wants me to pet him. But Boo's in his room tonight. The other cats are on free roam. We're just down here right now so I could give them crunchies. Look at Splash. Splash, you look good with your hair kind of all spiked up like that. They're all eating crunchies. I gave them crunchies on the plate, but they don't like canned food. So Boo ate all of his dinner because he loves canned food. Boo, you want some crunchies? I'm putting the cat pillow that looks like Simba on top of Boo's cat tower. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.